In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you one of my favorite little five wide passing concepts out of the empty trace stack in Madden 21. What's going on guys? My name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel focuses in on helping people become the best Madden player they can become. So if you're looking to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you to click the subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies going on right here on the channel. And like I said in this video, we're going to be breaking down um, a five wide receiver passing concept out of the Pittsburgh Steelers offensive playbook. If you've not already um, grabbed my True Fan membership and been following along with that, I'm going to encourage you to do that. My True Fan membership is a great way that you can get my most up to date strategies and tips. Every week we release kind of like basically an update on everything that I'm doing on offense and on defense. So if you want to get access to that, um, I, there's going to be a link down below. It's just five. Uh, it's just five bucks a month. That's it. One or um, five bucks a month, and you get all access to all the content. So if you want to get access to that, like I said, it'll be linked down in the description. Now, uh, real quick before we dive too far into this video, I just want to I just want to remind you really quickly here that um, that we've been kind of working on our route concepts and things like that, and we're going to be sharing with you a four verticals style passing concept uh, from the fade out in the Pittsburgh Steelers playbook. Now, like I said, if you want to get this empty trace stack scheme, it's in the true fan membership. So the link's down below. All right, fade out. So this is something that doesn't require Hot Route Master, with a, which is what I really like about it. You, you really don't need anything. It's a great way to run a four vertical style of passing concept. It's also got great spacing against uh, zone, and it's also got natural rubs and picks against man. And all we're gonna do is really simple. We're just gonna take the triangle receiver and put him on a curl. And then what I like to do is I'll either, if it looks like man, like if there's two receiver or two guys lined up over the top of these receivers, then I'll typically leave this just like this. But if it looks like zone, I'm gonna motion this guy to the outside. And what you'll see is this guy kind of gets um, really in a unique position, especially against cover three Mabel. I think this is the best way to absolutely obliterate the cover three meta Mabel coverage. And the reason why is because of the spacing that you get on this. And what you're going to get here with this curl, that's all we're doing is just curl and triangle. But the seam flat will basically just sit on the curl and he'll completely forget about this out route. And that's going to be an easy 15 to 20 yards that you're going to be able to get with this out route against Mabel, uh, against Mabel concepts and Mabel coverages. And really there's nothing in the game that I found up to this point that is going to be able to consistently take away the curl and the out route. This is a better version of a five yard out route because it goes about 15 yards and by the time the um, by the time the seam flat zone realizes, oh, this is an out route, it's too late. You're already throwing this ball for easy, easy yardage against the defense. So let me show you this to you again real quick, and then we'll go over some of the other routes. All I'm doing is once I motion, you see, look at all that space. So I'm just throwing the ball to the left just like that, and it's just a little ghost route almost. The zones don't really cover it is what I'm getting at. Now, let's say that you get something like a cover two look, and for the sake of this video, I'm going to make it into this, like, you know, kind of a little bit better version of the cover two uh, with these zones that I'm going to put on the field. But first thing I want you to realize is when I motion this out, it's the same exact principle. See how he just kind of falls away from the zone coverage, and the zone coverage is never going to jump down on that unless they change their zone drops, they may put their zone drops down underneath. They're going to have to do something to very specifically stop this specific play, which I absolutely love that because this is going to force them to have a two-man route combo. That's really the best, been the best route combo all season long in the fact that it's the curl flat route combo. The only thing is, as you'll see from this, is not only are we going to be able to beat zone really, really well from this, we're also going to be able to be very successful against man-to-man. -man. These two routes on the left are going to absolutely kill man coverage. Basically, you just choose whoever you want to throw it to. That square route, I threw it a little bit earlier, but as soon as he cuts to the outside, he's going to be successful against man. And then, obviously, the curl route has been one of the best man beaters and zone beaters all season long. So you see, get that little motion out, makes a cut, and you got a 15, um, a 10 to 15 yard dot against man to man. The other route that we have that we can do really, really well against man to man, especially press man, is this inside release curl, just low ball it right on the cut. As you see right there, we're beating man to man in that regard as well. So they're really gonna have to spend a lot of resources coming over here and trying to take care of this, um, 
you know, this underneath passing that we've created. So much so that their user um, is very likely to have to come over here and take away that out route. It's really gonna have to run himself out of the middle of the field, which is one of the best things about this concept. And so when their user does that, you're gonna have this little low ball right here to Robert Tunyon over the middle of the field, because now there's nobody in the middle of the field to be able to deter the fact that you're gonna throw some crossing routes and some post routes. So that's another great feature of this play because they have to spend so much energy over here on these two receivers, now you're leaving the trip side wide open. Another route that we can hit on this play um, against cover three is basically what we can do is we can simply um, we can simply hit that X tight end. Now the R1 receiver is a little bit unique, just kind of the way that the, honestly it's really the way the Mabel coverage uh, plays this specifically. Uh, you can't quite get this ball into the R1 receiver, and I'll show it to you real quick. So again, like I said, you can hit X. The RB or the R1 receiver up the seam is a great read. The problem is it's just not – basically you have to pass it to the right just like I did right there. And really it's a very specific throw to regs. It's not going to be as good as mutt. Um, at least that's been my basic assumption or basic finding so far. Now, if you get a Tampa 2, and let's say that they do put a deep blue down in the middle of the field, obviously the R1 is not going to be available to you, but this circle receiver with a pass lead to the right is going to absolutely torch cover 2 over the top of the defense. One other thing that you're going to be able to do, this is more of a mutt thing than it is a regs thing, but this route to the X, you can smart route this route, get it to go a little bit deeper, and what you're going to find is against man-to-man, -man, typically he's going to get open. He doesn't quite get open in regs as well as he's going to get open in mutt because that's going to be better route running. It's going to be a, a you know an ability on that guy, and you're going to be able to get in a really unique position. The other thing that I like about this play is what it does to the cover four. Again, like I said, this is a very deep crosser. It's not a traditional crossing route that's going to go under the deep blue. Rather, it's going to go over. So when you put that curl right out there, we're not going to be able to show it um, thanks to good old practice mode with the absolute insane sheds that you're going to see. And please keep in mind that cover four is a match defense, so they are going to match on to him. But I just want you to see that, again, if they're in cover four drop zone, um, you're going to see here that the X does have a chance to get over the top. As you can see, they, they did match on to me, but as you can see, I'm over the top of the, of the defender. Now, I want to spend a few minutes here on match, match coverage. This is my favorite four verticals passing concept in the game, not only because of what it does to man-to-man, -man, and then it gives you two to three things that are going to be successful against man-to-man, -man, but also what it's able to do against match quarters. I really like what this, this concept uh, can really do to match, uh, to match quarters out of the play fade out. So number one, you're going to put their user in a lot of conflict with this. If they're using the middle linebacker, they're going to have a, a decision to make. But again, same route tree. And what you're going to see here is that the R1 receiver is going to absolutely bomb this coverage over the top for a one-play touchdown every single time against match quarters. I cannot tell you how many times that I've played somebody that runs match quarters, especially when I go to five wide, and this is very consistent. Now, uh, let me show you this again. You're going to see every single time. It's just lobs up over the top. Once he's even, he's leaving. And as you can see, we're beating match quarters for a one-play touchdown every single time. And so what the defense is going to do, one of the things that they're going to do is they're going to take this safety over here, and they're going to put him in a deep path because that's going to make everything better. The problem is it's not because of the type of streak route that it is. It's actually meant to beat the deep half zone. So all I'm going to do is just pass with this to the left. And as you see right there, we're still beating this coverage over the top for a one-play touchdown every single time. So they're going to have to make other adjustments. They're going to have to drop more people back. They're going to have to do more stuff. And when they do have to do that, you're going to notice here that, look, your out route is still wide open. I threw it a little bit early there. But that out route is still going to be something that's there for you because it's match quarters, meaning match, man-to-man, -man match, meaning that we're basically playing man-to-man -man coverage on the outside here. And you'll see that the square receiver, when he cuts, absolutely torches that coverage. So you're very sound against quarters, Mabel, man, Tampa 2, and cover 4 drop. I don't know what more you can want from a passing play. This play is absolutely insane. I've enjoyed running this a lot. And if you want to see me join, run this play live, come to one of my streams. I've been streaming almost every day this week, and we're getting back into it as we prepare for Madden 22. 
Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video and you want to learn more about my empty tray stack offense, um, you can get that offensive guide in the description of this video. It's over at my true fan membership. You can sign up for that. Cancel anytime you want and you get all access to everything as soon as you sign up. It's just five bucks a month. Like I said, you cancel whatever you want and there's going to be a link to that in the description of this video.